Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you an OU battle against Aqua Squirrels of Smogon. Um, th this OU team has been redone a little bit since the last time you saw it. The last time you saw it, it had uh, Tornadus T on it. Tornadus T is now Uber, so I had to replace it with a Specs Hydreigon. Um, but because I put on the Specs Hydreigon, I then had too many weaknesses to fighting, so I replaced my Ferrothorn with a Skarmory. Uh, and I found that this variation actually works pretty darn well. So, anyway, I'm going to lead off with my Infernape as my opponent leads off with... I'm not sure if it's his Shedinja, I'm not sure if it's his Zoroark, um, but I, either way, I figure I'll go for the Stone Edge. It, it'll do damage to whoever it is, and also hits most of his switch-ins pretty well. And, you know, he switches in his Heatran. It wouldn't have mattered if I'd gone for the Overheat, considering I outspeed because he's probably not running the Scar set, and I can just go for the close combat. I really love this um, mix and Furnape set. It's it's pretty awesome. So anyway, down goes his Heatran uh, before it can set up rocks or anything. I'm not actually sure what set he was running. Uh, now he's going to go ahead and go out into his Slowbro, a uh, physical wall. Um, but, you know, I've got the U-turn. It's super effective, and it's going to do a decent chunk. So I'm pretty happy there. I'm actually losing a lot of health to the Life Orb, but that's the set it runs, so... Yeah, I mean, Infernape, people will say, oh, Infernape sucks, and it's not the best Pokemon, but it works well on my team. So, now I see that he's running a kind of a Trick Room set, so now he's set up a Trick Room. I'm not actually sure that it, his team really works well as a Trick Room team. Um, I guess Heatran is rather slow, and Shedinja is rather slow, but, eh, I mean, Zoroark is frail and fast, so I don't know. Anyway, gonna go ahead and switch out here as he sends out his Blissey. It was a good move, uh, sending out Blissey like that, and... But, you know, this is going to mean that I have an opportunity to send out my Skarmory and set up some hazards. So, no, I, I do know he has a spinner, and I was kind of expecting him to go into it pretty soon. Um, I, she shows me that he's gonna, he has the counter and doesn't most likely have the flamethrower. So now he switches out Shedinja. Obviously, it's not Shedinja, because if it was Shedinja, it would have died immediately. Uh, and I'm going to want to switch out just because these things often run Focus Blast, and even though I think I'm running the specially defensive set, but even so, I don't want to take a focus, focus Blast. It's nice to be at uh, full health, thanks to Sturdy and everything. So now I go out into Tachikoma. Um, Tachikoma uh, sponges the fight of the um, Flamethrower. Now he goes to the Sucker Punch. That's going to do a decent chunk. Uh, and I'm, but I, I'm pretty sure I would have taken him out with that Hydro Pump, so bit of lame hacks there, I'm a little bit sad. Uh, here I decide I'm going to go for the uh, Pain Split as he sends his Blissey back out, and that turns out to be excellent. Um, yeah, I go for the Pain Split, and uh, it's going to get my health all the way back up, and it's going to get Blissey's health down pretty low, well, down to about half. So now I'm just going to go ahead and switch out, and we'll see if it's running the Wish set, is it running the, um, is it running Softball, is he going to expect that and go for a, um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but... I, I, he actually goes for the Toxic, so interesting. Now, I don't have a Cleric on this team, so uh, Fubaloob is poisoned and is going to stay poisoned. I guess, actually, you know, the great thing about having Ditto is that if he's running a Cleric, I could always switch into Ditto, and then voila, I have a Scarf Cleric. Here, I think I go for the Icicle Crash, predicting the switch out um, just into anyone. I didn't want to go for the uh, Superpower. It doesn't do too much to Slowbro, because Slowbro is a physical wall. It's a pretty darn good physical wall, but that's really okay. I still have my um, Rotom, and, you know, it's it's going to be pretty good against them. So, go ahead, switch out into Rotom. Uh, he goes for another Trick Room. Okay, uh, he really thinks the Trick Room is going to help him. So, more power to you, man. More power to you. Uh, so... Here he's going to go for the Scald, it's going to uh, go first because the Trick Room is up, and he is going to get the Burn, but, you know, no, it's not like I'm a physical attacker or anything, I go for the Volt Switch, and really it was a mistake to leave him in because, you know, as bulky as this guy is on the physical side, got no defenses on the special side really to speak of, and now it's down. So I suspect it was probably running the Calm Mind offensive set, but he really should have gone for the Calm Mind if he'd hoped to survive. Uh, hit. Anyway, so here he goes out into his fortress, and now this fortress is going to go first because of the trick room. Uh, but you know what? I'm perfectly fine with him rapid spinning, and okay, he got a crit on the rapid spin, which actually did a fair amount of damage considering 
Infernape is pretty frail. Uh, and now I'm just going to go for the overheat, and now his spinner is down so I can send out my Skarmory at any point and set rocks right back up. And what I do, that is a dead uh, Shedinja on switching. So uh, here, um, I'm down to fairly low HP, and I, even though I know this is Zoroark, I decided I'm going to stay in and just sack my, um, uh, sack my Infernape. Uh, you know, why not? Uh, it, it had it had done pretty darn well in this match, so I was I was okay with that move, and it means I get the sw free switch into someone else. Go ahead and touch Ikoma. Uh, he goes for the Sucker Punch, I guess thinking that I might be slower, and I just go for the Volt Switch, gonna finally get rid of that illusion. Um, not that it really matters. Uh, and I was kind of hoping for the kill, but I don't quite get it, so a eh, little bit lame. Uh, but so, And now I'm in a position like, well, what do I do here? I actually decided to go out, oh, I go in and discard me, right, the Twisted Dimension return to normal this turn, that's fine. He goes for the Flamethrower, I can take that, and all I'm doing here is killing his, uh, is preemptively killing his Shedinja by setting up Stealth Rock. So Stealth Rock goes up, Shedinja is dead on arrival. So, great job, Skarmory. I really love this set, I mean, Special Defensive set takes that Flamethrower quite well, all things considered, and uh, I'm pretty happy. So now I'm going to go out into Moon, he might go for the Focus Blast, but I don't See that happening? Yeah, so same nickname as my last, um, uh, Tor, I almost called him. Anyway, uh, it turns out I'm faster, I guess I was thinking he probably does, is running a solar set, and I get the kill with U-turn, and now I decide to send out, um, my, I decide to send out Ditto just so it appears in this battle. I figure, why the heck not? Uh, he goes out into his, um, he goes out into his shit engine because it's dead anyway, and now he goes out into Blissey, and I, you know, I could, I, I could, um, uh, transform into Blissey and then Toxic him, uh, so he doesn't have a uh, heal bell or anything like that, but I just figured, go straight out into, um, my, uh, into Fukaloop, and it's time to just finish this match. Uh, no sense toxic stalling or doing anything stupid like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the super effective superpower, and I am banded, and this thing was showing me earlier that it's probably running the special defensive set, so I have no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna manage to take him out, and indeed, Blissey goes down. So that is good, good game, um, you know, 4-2, uh, because, no, no, I'm sorry, that was, uh, that, not 4-2, that was, uh, 5-0, so it does qualify as a body bag. Uh, yeah, that was the bat match. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.